Sorry, are you here to see me? No, silly. I go here. You, you go where? Harvard. Law school. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? So many iconic lines in the movie Legally Blonde, and starting this weekend, you can relive the magic when Legally Blonde, the musical, takes the stage at the Spotlight Theater in Moline. Olivia Hedden and Brent Tubbs are joining us now. Uh, Brent, you are producing the show. Correct. And uh, Olivia, you are Elle Woods. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. That has to be so much fun to play that role. It is a dream come true. It is seriously so much fun every single night. I bet it is. So this movie is iconic. Um, a lot of us already know the line that we just played among probably 24 other lines yeah. from the movie. Um, what makes uh, the musical a little bit more different and a little bit more fun, Brent? Uh, well, the most obvious answer is the music. Yeah. Uh, but it, it truly is, the music is incredible. I mean, every song is just so catchy and it's, uh, I, it's all, the whole show is just upbeat and fun yeah. and you just leave feeling great. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, Olivia, what's it like kind of playing such a large role, especially like when you see something that does so well on film, you know, then we, we take it to the stage mm -hmm. and um, making that your own, you know, how difficult is that? Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, there's those iconic lines, like you mentioned, that are still in the musical. Um, so it's a lot of fun to kind of put my own spin on that as well um, and just get a chance to play such an iconic character. Yeah. Well, uh, Brent, you are the producer. So that means you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> I don't know who you heard that from. I'd like to talk to them. A <laughs> uh, little lady named Beth Marsoon. <laughs> um, no, but uh, talk a little bit about what goes into producing a musical. I don't think a lot of people, I think a lot of people are familiar with what it's like to try and act and sing in one. Yeah. Um, but when it goes, when it comes to producing, what does that entail? Uh, well, there's so many elements that go on to putting on a live show, um, and we, we've kind of joked now that putting on a movie musical is even that much harder because of the m when you're transferring a movie to the stage, you still go to all those different locations where uh, that you need set pieces for and props for and dressing for. So it's there's so many elements to it that... Um, have to just kind of all get married together perfectly when uh, all the lights come together, the sound, yeah. the costumes, the set, uh, the actors, the performers, the band, the pit. Yeah. It's really just kind of putting all those puzzle pieces together to make sure that the show is the best it can be yeah. uh, come opening night. Yeah. Wow, that sounds like a big job. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of hats. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, this is the first show of uh, your 2024 season. Mm -hmm. um, Olivia, t talk about how much re rehearsal has gone into this as you head into opening night. Yeah, absolutely. So we started rehearsing January 2nd. Um, we were kind of met with some setbacks with the winter weather that we oh, were having. we all? Uh, yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've been going since then, and everything's finally all coming together. Costumes, set pieces, everything like that. So. Yeah. I have eight costume changes oh. that I do backstage. So. That sounds fun, though. It is. It's a, it's a <laughs> lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I have to ask both of you, but Olivia, I'll start with you. What is your favorite part of this show? Oh, how much time do we have, I <laughs> um, uh, Two I, and a half minutes. Okay, okay, so I'll kind of wrap up. Um, oh, there's so many parts that I love about the show. Honestly, just getting to sing and dance around with my friends has yeah. been so amazing. Um, the cast has all grown together so close. Um, we have so much fun. So mm -hmm. I would say the beginning, oh my god, you guys, me and the other sorority girls are yeah. dancing and singing around together. So yeah, that's probably, my that's favorite probably part. your favorite part. Yeah. Brent, what about you? Yeah, it's, I mean, really watching the cast come together and, um, there's, uh, like she said, the sorority girls are just hilarious <laughs> throughout the whole show. Um, but yeah, the, uh, being able to sit and watch and listen to the cast sing, this cast is just really? phenomenal. Wow. They're, they're unbelievable from day one. They've been just great to watch and it's only gotten better and better. Um, and, and, then, and we start to color coordinate with yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> Not planned at all. Yeah, you got your Barbie pink on today. Yeah. Yes, um, well, I don't know anybody that would listen to both of you talk about that and not want to go see this show. Uh, <laughs> and you guys have a really exciting season coming up as well. And yeah. people can find all of that information just by heading uh, to the Spotlight website. Anastasia coming up in April. Yep, that's our next one. Tarzan, the musical. Ripcord, Evita, 
and Annie yep. in December. We all chose single syllable uh, titles, <laughs> all based on movies. Really easy for us to all say. Uh, all the performance <laughs> dates uh, for Legally Blonde the Musical, uh, February 16th, 17th, 23rd, 24th, that's all at 7 p.m. and then February 18th and 25th at 2 p.m. And you can find your tickets pretty easily. You just head to the Spotlight uh, theaterqc.com or call the number on your screen 309-912-7647. Uh, congratulations to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. And it's okay for me to say break a leg. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Uh, it's a very busy